everybody, welcome back to Sweden and to my workshop. My name is Linus and today we are forging an axe. Uh, the forge is hot, it is pouring hot outside. Let's get cracking. Thank you. 
finish with the axe. And let me tell you, this thing is an absolute beast. It's um, heavy. I don't really need to do anything. You know, you saw before when I whacked something and just let the weight do its thing. My thought going into this build was to have a axe heavy enough that I can split wood when I'm out. It had to have a sort of a hammer part, so a part that you can hammer on if you get stuck. Um, and also, I wanted it to be a little bit flexible. Um, to tell you the truth, I was looking for Campax. This is more of Battle uh, <laughs> you know. This is a, a smaller version of when you need to hit somebody in armor and just, you know, if the edge won't do it, the weight will just do it. Forging wise, I was really happy with this one. Um, it was true pleasure working this one out. And um, fullering as well, because I haven't done that successfully before. I've tried it just, you know, on the, on the run and on the fly. Didn't really have a plan, but this time I think it worked out really well. I think this axe for a camp needs would be perfect if I cut it in half. Because the weight is just, you know, it's, it's just too much. It's like a hatchet, a heavier, oh, it's, it's like a real axe with a tomahawk, tomahawk handle. Uh, but it's cool though, I mean, the process of this was really um, educational. Just from how I did everything with, I had a, this handle piece was a bit dry. And last time when I did a hammer, one of the dry hammer uh, handles got ruined. So I soaked this in linseed oil for, for two days. One, one, uh, one uh, 24 hour cycle. I've, um, normalized the head three times. I've uh, quenched it, but this time not in oil, but in water instead. Uh, I realized this was the best one for the steel. And I also did three thermocycles. So I think this is pretty tough facts. Uh, I waxed on some stuff there and it just, you know, powered through like a bulldozer. So, I'm really happy with this one. This is the last of the four weeks of forging challenge with Alex Steele. So I um, think this was a really good four weeks. I got a good plan for what I would need to do and uh, had to you know, plan ahead a little bit. And it was really, it was good fun, really good fun. And I got to practice a lot of techniques that I haven't done before. Um, and also, tempering part when I heated up the drift and put this on it was perfect I mean I've been doing this in my oven before it's just a little iffy with um, how hot you should get the drift and stuff but once I just got it almost full length it, it got time to work uh, so thank you so much guys and uh, I hope to see you in the next video if you haven't already, please subscribe and uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions, thoughts, ideas, outrage, outrageous lies, anything like that. Take care you guys, wherever you are.